I'm JR Rivers. And I'm Pete Lumbus. Today we're going to talk about layer 3 networking and we're going to make fish tacos. Welcome to Cooking with Cumulus. Alright, so we're going to be working on a, uh, it's like a little salsa that we're going to put on our fish tacos. It's made out of jalapenos, onions, and a little bit of lime juice. First off, we're finding that um, customers, when they go to build a layer three network, it's way easier to configure and deploy than they thought it was. So a lot of times when you first talk to them, there's this kind of fear, uncertainty, and doubt that sits around there. You start letting them see what it looks like to configure that starts to uh, kind of fade away. On the benefit side, it's really super straightforward, right? You end up with one topology protocol that runs everything in the infrastructure. Really easy to diagnose, really easy to set expectations, and, and it's really easy to teach everybody how to look at it. You don't have an expert in one protocol or confusion or anything else like that. All right, Pete, so the key to any great taco is the tortilla, that foundation. So what's the best network that you worked with a customer on? Super thoughtful, did something that they maintainable, sustainable, good network architecture, the whole thing. We've seen a couple of customers come through and, and really it's those that are willing to stop, take a beat and say, instead of just copying and pasting what we've been doing, but what are the problems that we have and what can we solve? And what can we look at differently? You know, how do we get rid of layer two and layer three? How do we add the X land in there? And really how do we start looking at operations differently? From right. automation, from testing, from a virtualization standpoint. Um, so anytime I see that customer make the transition, I get really excited. I've gotten to the point now where I actually really like a full L3 network, even if it's kind of L3 from the top rack or, or even better L3 from the server. Your route table tells you everything. If you want to take something offline, it's super easy. You can ma maintain around it without losing any application data, do any upgrades or hardware fixes, whatever you need to do, and then bring everything back online in a super graceful way. And if you need L2 adjacencies, you have technologies like VXLAN, which you can use a controller for, you can use EVP, and there's a lot of different ways you can build those overlays. They're so easy to build, you can just like manually configure them using Ansible if you want. Like if you have four overlays, you don't have to get fancy with it. You don't even need a protocol, you just turn it on, right? Tell you what, we're gonna move on and kick our towel a bit. We've got some olive oil. And the trick to cooking the towel a bit, if you start flaking, you can move it around too much. Smell that? Feel the paprika coming off? Yeah. You know, with all this talk of layer three, one of the things that I've seen that's been really powerful is the customers that have moved to layer three and just absolutely loved it. You've got a customer that was a traditional layer two shop, VLANs everywhere, no layer three. They ended up investigating and, and taking layer three not just to the top of rack, but all the way down to the server using BGP unnumbered and Cumulus as FRR packages for their servers to BGP to their top of rack. And they love it. You know, there have been a couple of conferences that they've gone and spoken to about their new infrastructure and how many problems it solved. And even to the point where, you know, two years later, they haven't had a single network outage. Very cool for them. And I think those, those are the kinds of things that end up getting me really excited and I think are really powerful about the Layer 3 story. Why don't you try a little piece of fish and oh, see yeah, what you think? Absolutely. Is it working Perfect. for you? Perfecto. All right, Pete, now we got to put our tacos together. All right. So we got our tortilla. You put a little bit of fish on there. Sprinkle some of this on the top. And then we lay our little avocado slices on top. You know, so we talked about a lot here today, JR. Layer three is a lot easier to deploy than anybody thought. You know, they get that single topology and protocol across that infrastructure. They can do zero packet loss upgrades and maintenance and VXLAN for layer two extension. Mm. It's working. That's good. The tacos were great. The discussion was great. I'm not sure what was better. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us on Cooking with Cumulus. See you next time. <laughs>